talking to Nico before about sort of the differences, you know, playing east-west versus north-south for you guys to be able to sort of get your feet underneath yourself. Did you guys feel that maybe things were a little bit too fancy in that first period and then sort of drilled down? Yeah, um, I thought we didn't really do a good job, to be honest. Uh, you know, first 20 minutes we're, you know, making mistakes and turning pucks over and, you know, sometimes you have those games and you get to realize and you just keep it simple and uh, the good thing is we found a way to win this. Um, yeah, we turned it on and then, uh, yeah, found a way to, to, to get two points. So that's that's a positive, but, uh, you know, overall I think it wasn't, it wasn't our best best game, but, uh, yeah, sometimes you just have those nights and you get to realize earlier, just keep it simple and uh, don't make it harder on yourself. Can these games be tricky, just knowing where they are in the standings? They're just playing to play it at a certain point. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want to underestimate any team at this time of the year. Um, they, they got guys that can play over there, and they, they, they battle and everything. So um, for us, it's the work in our game. And, and like I said, we didn't do a good enough job for uh, some time in the game, but then uh, found a way to, to get our game going and then uh, realize we're not, uh, you know, if we, if we do certain mistakes, we're playing in our hands. So, uh, yeah, good job just getting those two points. Was the book on Staloc to go on wraparounds <laughs> multiple times? Um, I, I played with him, and it's kind of tough to, honestly, the, 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 the read where to shoot on him, and, and I just know he's aggressive. So uh, every time I, you know, get the chance to go around, because I know he challenged a lot, so I tried to go around. And, yeah, it worked out uh, twice on, on the Hollis goal and then on, on my goal so yeah that's positive on gravy's goal did you did your face get pushed into the boards there is that what happened you were like lying down at one point yeah just awkward fall and okay. collided with his, his stick and luckily i'm wearing a mouth guard so um yeah i didn't really see what happened but uh happy we scored on that play do you allow yourself to look at the standings this late in the season and know where you were at um yes and no i mean yeah. you don't want to you know overthink it you want to go out there and play your best game every night but you also got to realize uh, you, you're fighting for, for home ice advantage. Uh, it's big in the playoffs. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the thing for us to, to work on our game and, and, and make sure we put ourselves in a good position um, standing wise, but don't uh, overthink the whole situation. Just go out there and compete and uh, battle hard. It looked like you were able to use your speed to really elevate the pace late in the second period. Those two goals pretty fast back to back sort of like seemed like the tipping point tonight. Yeah, uh, obviously not happy the way uh, we started the game, how I started the game. And, and then, uh, yeah, you just got to be able to turn it on. Um, you can't change what, what happened. You got to move forward and stay positive and just go to work and, and do what you can in the, in the coming up plays and, and stay in the moment. You good? Nico, just the overall effort, again, one of those things where you stick with it when the score starts to sort of close in on you. What did you think about everyone's play tonight as a team? Uh, got the two points. Uh, those games are not... Not easy to play, I think, but uh, I think uh, at the beginning we were trying too much east-west plays and uh, weren't straightforward enough, but uh, we were able to, to react on, on those two goals, and uh, that's what matters, and uh, yeah, take the two points and uh, get ready for tomorrow. What do you, what do you make of uh, the, the way Timo was playing tonight, his wraparound effort both on his goal and, and uh, Halsey as well? Yeah, I've seen him. I've, I've seen him scoring like that. So uh, sneaky, uh, a lot of speed. Obviously, uh, he has a lot of speed, big body, and uh, he takes the pucks to the net, and that's where where you score those kind of goals, and uh, that's what he does. And for Bogey to be able to score like that, you know, he's been in and out more recently, but now back in, must feel good to see that from him, and just the way he's handled the entire season. Hundred uh, percent. He's made a big step. Uh, really happy for him. He's playing the right way. Uh, Unbelievable skill player, and uh, he always he, he's always been, and uh, I go in for him finally, and uh, happy to see that. Talking to Bradder yesterday, just about keeping pace for that top spot in the division. How much do you think about that, and how you know important is that to to keep that pace right obviously, now? Obviously, uh, I think you see it obviously in the standings, but me personally, I think uh, I just take game by game and uh, see where we stand at the end and. Uh, I will win every game until at the end of the season. So this was a tight game for most of it. What was the key to kind of the floodgates opening there? I mean, we I think we had a little bit more chances uh, than them, but uh, I know what you're saying. Uh, they were up, and we were able to react, and that, that's the main thing. And uh, uh, just kept kept playing uh, our way and uh, made it hard on them. To be able to contribute, obviously, recently you've been sort of in and out. I mean, what does it mean to you, especially in a game like this, to be able to to, to make that contribution? 
Uh, no, uh, it's uh, obviously uh, a lot of fun at first. I uh, love scoring goals. So, uh, and then see our, our line scoring a couple more too. So, it's, uh, But the most important thing is the two points, right? So, uh, yeah. What, what is it like playing with the two of them and, and that chemistry that you guys really seem to have developed that makes you guys so dangerous? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like uh, we are all different and connect uh, pretty good. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's fun to play with those, those two guys for sure. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's, it's, that's good. What about um, the first 20 minutes versus maybe the rest of the game? It seemed like maybe a little more east-west in the first versus north-south, sort of getting back to the, what has made you guys successful. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I think especially early in the second was uh, they 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 had a little bit on the m momentum too, and uh, uh, it was a little bit of a wake up call when they scored two two one there. So, uh, but uh, we bounced back good and uh, huge two points. What is it meant to this group to be where you guys are right now in the standings, 104 points, and pushing for that top spot in the metro? No, obviously it means a lot. We've been uh, working hard all year and taking taking day by day, game by game. So it's uh, back at it tomorrow. Lindy, um, your thoughts on the way the game sort of started changing when your team started playing a little more north-south versus that east-west, particularly in the middle of the second period? Yeah, I thought early on we were, you know, we were trying a lot of seam plays, a lot of, uh, you know, defense the far dot. We weren't really attacking the inside. And, we were kind of uh, trapping ourselves where, you know, they gave us some outside ice. We took it. Uh, we had to get inside, and I th you thought eventually we got there. Is that an important lesson about how you guys need to play? We know how we need to play. It just sticking to it. Um, you know, we've, we've talked about, uh, you know, playing a quick game. Playing a quick game is, is not bringing pucks back. It's getting that guy through the middle of the ice, driving the net, making sure the pucks go there. What is it about the way Timo plays and his success, particularly in that third period, that has really been such a benefit to you guys and what he's been able to do? Uh, you know, I think, again, we had guys that struggled the first couple of periods. Uh, I thought uh, his game, he struggled a little bit in the first two, but really skated well. In the, I thought that line, when I put him with uh, with Hall and Boquist, uh, it was a good line for us. So, uh, it, uh, I don't know if you can figure out why that happens, but it does, and you know we got through it. After the um, the loss to the Islanders, Eric Hollis said to me that you know this is my time to really step up. That I've really got to do something here to sort of will everyone. Are you seeing a different level from him right now? Well, you know he has had plenty of chances during the year. I think you know we've we've talked about the number of opportunities that haven't gone in. Um, Probably that play that he scored on probably would have hit something uh, 30 games ago, because uh, he's had the same type of opportunities. Um, but you know, I think the the reason he's here is is that veteran leadership. It, it's a guy that has been in the playoffs. It's a guy that's played in tough games. Uh, it's that type of experience that you know he has to be able to rise up and, and help his teammates with. Hamilton was his 20th of the year. What can you say about what he's meant for you? Well, you know, he's, he's plays in every situation. He's been great in the power play. He's, uh, he really does have one of the best, you know, quick release shots of, of any defenseman. And, uh, you know, he's kind of got the green light to, to get involved. When he gets involved and he gets a hole, uh, he's been able to beat a lot of goaltenders with a shot. Yeah, we were sitting here watching tonight. It's like, well, these guys are really quick, supposedly. And it seemed like it really, it took you, like you said, it took you a while to really get into gear. Is this the type of hockey club that, you know, when you start slow, it's a good, quick team that can just sort of like all of a sudden the, the, the shift is there. And yeah, it's... you know, we've had, I'll be honest, we, we've had a, a lot of games where the first period hasn't been hasn't been our best period, hasn't been our quickest, haven't played our quickest, uh, but we've been able to gain momentum through that second period, a lot quicker transition, longer change for the opposition. And we've gained a lot of momentum through the second period and then, you know, carried that into the third. But, you know, when I break it down, it, it's one area that I really like our team to improve in is, you know, it's mentality in that first 10 minutes of a game where I think if you looked at it, we, we probably had six or seven opportunities to, you know, take a shot from one of the flanks and we deferred to some type of passing play where 
Uh, I thought Chicago did a good job of staying inside, getting sticks on our, our seam plays, and you got to give them a lot of credit for, for pushing us to the outside.